Hello everyone, welcome back to another Remaking Doors episode. Today's going to be a quick one. Today is just going to be a follow-up to yesterday's where we are just going to be polishing everything we added yesterday. So um, let's just go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing we're going to polish is the actual... Um, the actual when the seek emerges let's actually make that face appear so we're going to go inside of the trigger part from yesterday again this will be updated inside of the kit which will be linked in the description um if you haven't picked that up yet um the first thing we will do we'll get rid of this then what we will do is we will um go ahead backspace that we will say local face equals seek dot head dot face face dot transparency equals zero. Let's go ahead and throw that back inside of replicate storage and let's see if the face now shows up. I hope it does. All right, let me drag my character. So we'll bring it on over here. We will throw it inside of here. And hopefully the face now shows up. Okay, it does, which is good. But as you can see, um, when we when the when the part gets triggered, like when we touch the part, you could see the the seek ai gets spawned in and then it goes into the floor we don't want it to do that we want it to uh only be visible when it's emerging from the floor so that's what we're going to do right now so we will go back inside of that triggered script which is uh right here and we will go ahead and write the following so if trigger blah blah blah, blah. okay here when we're when we're changing the transparencies we're going to uh, select all of this and we're going to go ahead and control X to cut it. We're going to paste it below this emerge animation, emerge track, emerge track play all uh, below all of this. And then we are going to say, um, first off, we're going to change this to that. We're going to change and then we're going to put a weight. So we're changing that one, that weight dot, that weight 1.5 to 1.4. And then in here, right before the, uh, we change the transparencies, we're going to put a weight, uh, 0.1 before it. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Hopefully I think that should fix it though, or definitely make it look better. So, um, again, let's drag our character all the way over here. Let's go ahead and run over and see if this looks any better. As you can see now, it's not like, um, it's not like, uh, what's the word? It, you don't see it like appear and then go into the floor. It just comes right out of the floor. So that looks a lot better. <clears throat> um, if you guys want to mess around with those weights, you can. The next thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and set up um, first person. So we're not going to want it to be third person when we are in the chase. We're going to want it to be, um, I don't know. Let's make it like we'll lock it in first person and we'll change the field of view. So to do this, we'll say, um, we will say, current camera dot, let me see here. Super player, um, pretty sure it's play, right? Player dot camera mode. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to say player dot camera mode equals enum dot camera mode dot lock first person. And then we will change that field of view. So we will say like, I don't know, current camera dot field of view equals like, 
I think the default is 70, so we'll change this to like 100 or something. And um, we'll change that speed to, instead of that, we'll change it to, also another thing, keep that jump power to zero. Make sure they can't jump. Um, we'll change this walk speed to like 23, because in the game they speed up in that chase. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what that looks like now. <clears throat> We'll drag this over to here, over to the hallway. And why is that out? What the? Um, why is that out? Maybe that was a bug? Um, that should not uh, let's just let's just uh, try it again maybe I accidentally touched like the triggered part or something with my uh, character probably did that's actually probably what happened so we will put this right here we'll walk to the end of the hallway and then we will go ahead and go into here sequel emerge and then we are in this new running mode where the camera's further away and we are sped up. So now, obviously, um, obviously, oops, looks like rush coming. Obviously, this is not final because we still have to, um, <clears throat> we still have to, uh, actually make it so that he chases us and we don't want normal rooms getting generated. We want the actual rooms where you have to duck and dive under like fallen furniture and stuff like that to appear. So this is not final at all. But um, another thing I forgot to uh, mention, if you want your game to be in first person always, so like when we join, it's in third person right now. If you want it to be first person, just go to starter player and go down to camera mode and just do lock first person like that. That's all you have to do. So now as you can see when we join, we're in first person. Just like that. So that's how you make it so that if you want it to be in first person, you can um, make it like that. Uh, that's really it for today's episode. Um, I just want to go over and polish some things from yesterday's tutorial. It's, you know, 12 o'clock at night. Pretty tired. Had baseball the whole day. So just want to make a quick... I wanted to get a video out. Like, I wanted to get another part out. So going to make a quick one tomorrow. Um... Doors episode is not coming out tomorrow. A different video is coming out tomorrow, but then on uh, Wednesday, uh, the third part to the Seek tutorial will be coming out. So be on the lookout for that. Um, if you have any, you know, problems with the kit, problems with this tutorial itself, leave them in the comments below. Any questions, comments, concern, leave them in the comments below. Uh, also, any feedback on the videos, I love seeing your guys' feedback. Please leave that in the comments below as well. If you guys enjoyed the video. Um, show your support by liking and subscribing. Uh, it greatly helps out the channel, helps us grow, helps us grow a bigger community for more people to see these videos. Um, if you have any friends that are trying to get into Roblox development, game development, all that stuff, direct them to this channel. I upload almost literally every single day. So uh, a bunch of content being produced for them. And that's really it. And uh, yeah, as always, I will see you guys in the next one.